I'd say the green room, really, the first word I think about when I think of the green room, uh, which was the first word that was passed around when we were uh, all deciding on a name and what we were going to do with a business and everything, was community. It means a lot to the, to the community. They endlessly open their doors to being a community hub. This place represents community to me and how special it's been for us and how much it's contributed not only to individually ourselves and our community. And I really hope that Green Room uh, continues to thrive uh, and its community continues to thrive. <laughs> Green Room is community. Things that have been able to kind of experience, you know, um, a real community vibe. Lectures, things about community events. Our we community. love you, Green Room. And just the entire community. Are very diverse and the place was started to really be a community hub to, to give back to everybody. Hopefully we'll be able to get out from underneath this crazy tax debt. So whatever it is that you can donate to help to try and eliminate this thing looming over this cloud looming over our head, um, we'll just keep the dream alive. the green room. The green room is such a special place and I've been coming there since it was opened. Um, my favorite things about the green room are all of the local community events that they put on. Um, their generosity and contributions to the community are invaluable to bring people together to center all of our wants and desires and visions for a better place all, all through one establishment. Um, I love the music. I love a good Bloody Mary, and I really love all the green drinks and science on tap that they do as well. If the green room was not around, we would be losing a huge gift to the community. Um, it contributes a place for people to celebrate uh, each other and who they are, and um, it goes beyond a bar. and it, steps into the boundaries of what communities should look like. Hi, this is Nolan McKelvey from my friends at Flagstaff's Green Room, a place for community action, for benefits, for friendship, and great local and national music. Let's keep it open, people. Thanks. There are lots of places to drink in Flagstaff. Um, I've been to them. Uh, the Green Room is more. Um, to me, it's been a place to dance, um, like 80s night, to listen to music, um, bands coming through town, um, to hold and attend fundraisers, um, to make art like the Art Slam, and ultimately to be a place where Flagstaff can come together as a community and for that I'm so appreciative. Artistic hub and kind of a gathering place for creative folks and those individuals that like being around creative folks and, and you know enjoying and sharing in the uh, the experience that you know, is orchestrated in those, those settings and surroundings. I think that is super important. And fundamentally, if the Green Room had to close its doors, I think Flagstaff would be losing a cornerstone of its artistic community and, and really a gathering place and a, a breeding ground for a lot of the concepts that um, make Flagstaff's artistic community so unique and so potent and powerful. Uh, so if you're able to seriously help these guys out. Hello, my name is Coral Evans, and this is a video about how I feel about the Green Room. I think the Green Room is a valuable community asset. The Green Room is a place that gives birth to social movements, to culture, to caring, and to compassion. I think the Green Room is unique in that aspect. The Green Room is more than just a pub, more than just a bar, more than just a dance hall. Um, meetings are held there weekly um, that have to do with inspiring people to get out to vote, to get out to community, to do community service, to be part of their community, to learn more about their community, to march on City Hall, to make a difference. 
And that's what's important about the Green Room, and that's why I feel that the Green Room is one of Flagstaff's most valuable assets. Dragon straight in the muddy 